As we recognize today's events, we are also, of course, aware Monday marks a painful and horrific time in our country's history. It'll be 100 years since the Tulsa massacre. It's a story that was buried for decades, hidden from us. And now there's a new documentary about it. It's called Tulsa Burning, the 1921 Race Massacre. It's on the History Channel, and here's a clip. So in this cemetery, there are only two official victims of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Right. How many victims do you think there are? After all these years, I think 300 is putting it mild. Now joining us to talk mm -hmm. about it is one of the premier documentary filmmakers of our time, the Peabody and Emmy Award winning director, Stanley Nelson. Um, Stanley, it's an honor. Thanks so much for being with us here on BNC. Yes, it is. Um, we want to jump right into it because for so many people, this is, you know, history for us that we had no idea about. Mm -hmm. um, give us your thoughts on the greater context, the year that has happened since George Floyd's murder. Yeah, one of the uh, amazing things for, for us as filmmakers is, is we actually made this film during this year, you know, of George Floyd's murder, of COVID, um, this, this crazy and insane year. Um, and there's so much that reflects, you know, back on, on the story of Tulsa. Uh, you know, this, this was the worst race massacre in the history of this country. You know, over uh, 100 people, maybe as many as 300 people were, were murdered. And so to make this film in, in the shadow of, of, the, of George Floyd's murder and also in the shadow of the protests um, was just uh, an amazing experience. And, and that's part of the film. So it's reflected in the film. Yeah, it was an atrocity, one of the biggest atrocities, atrocities in this country's history, and that's saying a lot. Uh, but it wasn't told for decades, and it still doesn't get the attention that it needs. Is that one of the reasons why you wanted to do this documentary? Not just to commemorate the 100 year anniversary, but to get the word out about what happened uh, during that time? Yeah, I mean, it's such an amazing story, you know, um, uh, of the devastation and the massacre. But also, it's the story of the building of, of Tulsa. You know, the uh, hundreds mm -hmm. of, of African Americans migrated to Oklahoma, you know, um, on a wing and a prayer, <laughs> you know, not knowing what they were going to mm -hmm. find, but but to yeah. try to uh, build communities and live, you know, peaceful lives in uh, of dignity. And you see that, you know, one of the most amazing things is that somebody, one of the, one of the black people uh, who lived in, in Tulsa took the video, you know, took video, uh, I, I mean, uh, film, you know, at that point, but took film mm -hmm. and then you see it, you know, you see the pride yeah. that people, you know, you see them kind of flex, you, you see the pride in, in their portraits, you see, you know, pictures of, of the businesses. So that made it um, uh, not easy, but, but it, it made it much more poignant poignant the story that we could tell because you see it you see the building yeah absolutely and we're looking forward to seeing this uh, nba star russell yeah, uh, westbrook also wait. an executive producer on this we are looking forward to this coming yeah. out thank you for joining us we know you have a prior commitment that you got to get to but stanley jones we appreciate your time right here for starting mm -hmm. your day with us on bnc